Excellent. I'm Merit. 90. 108. You've got your super challenge questions as well. Excellent. Positive behaviour. Write it down. The perimeter on the outside. Thank you. In this edition of Boost Your Teaching, we're looking at just how important it is not to underestimate your pupils. By giving lots of positive encouragement and raising your own expectations, it really is possible to lift attainment across the board. At the CTC Kingshurst Academy in Birmingham, modern languages teacher Sharon Cliff takes a group of lower ability Year 8 students for French. She has them working with more complex language structures than their expected levels require, after changing her own expectations of what they could achieve. Regardez le tableau, s'il vous plaît. Regardez le tableau. OK. We're going to look at a couple of new verbs. On a manger, acheter, voyager, travailler, nager. What is the similarity between all of those, first of all? Come on, let's see if we can get merit. Connor. It's masculine. It's it, nearly. Daniel. Fellow got ER on the end. Excellent. I'm merit. One merit. It's a year eight low ability class of which 11 are statemented for all sorts of reasons from very rare chromosome disorders to um, uh, looked after children. Because the beginning of year eight, Joe, my assistant, uh, my teaching assistant and myself, looked at the class and what their target levels would be. And their target levels for the end of this year were middle level four. And we decided, were we going to go for those levels and teach to that level? Or were we going to just sort of open, uh, go blue sky and see where we could teach them the same sort of syllabus in a different way, but see how far we could get them? Four minutes, off we go, off we go. It's absolutely fundamental that we get the planning right, especially with that particular Year 8 group, because if they don't feel supported and they don't feel that they can do the work, then behaviour becomes an issue. Voyager. Well done. We knew the normal standard lesson just wouldn't work with them. They also suffer from a lack of self-confidence in that group, so it's a question of building their confidence, making sure that they feel fabulous when they come out, that they look forward to the lesson, so they've got a positive mindset. You are going to work out the past, the present, and the future. Your challenge is to do this in four minutes. Differentiation is important because everybody needs to feel that they achieve. Therefore, there should be um, an element of work that they feel comfortable with, plus an element that is new, that is a challenge. That's present. That's past. That's future. I think that's now. Travailler. You've got um, a more challenging card sort for those who can deal with more words that they have to sort out to the special educational needs who need a little bit more support with the teaching assistant. Past, present and future. Très bien. Now give me a sentence. They are going to buy... All the France acheter... Pull it out. Because it will be super. Brilliant. That is a level six sentence. Excellent. The impact has been incredible. Um, more than I could ever um, ever have thought, to be honest. Moi je vais dire la phrase en anglais. Vous allez écrire la phrase. We have students in there who should have a level 2A, who are now 4B. They have all exceeded their target level by at least one subgrade or even a complete level. It's been absolutely fabulous what they've managed to achieve. Those sort of students are very used to not getting things right. <laughs> It's getting past that barrier, engendering a feeling of success and keeping them feeling like, yeah, that we can master this, we can master this, and how fabulous we are.